Euh... What's up? I want to do a video about my process and how I design stuff for my car. So I'm going to use this fuel filter as an example. Um, it's a little radium guy I got offline, 6 micron. Apparently race cars are supposed to have fuel filters, who knew? Um, so why do I design my own, a lot of my own parts? For one, it's easier, but uh, sometimes I save money, sometimes it costs more. But uh, mainly I just want to find a good solution. Um, like they sell, I think, two different universal mounts for this, but uh, they're kind of expensive and I, this doesn't weigh anything, so I could use a 3D printed part. Uh, and I can print it at home and it'd be much cheaper and I can do it the way I want to do it. So what's the process? Um, basically, you gotta find the location first. Um, this has got, obviously gotta go in the feed line uh, for the fuel, but uh, I can go by the tank, and go by the engine, go underneath the car, and kind of go above. So there's a lot of different spots it can, it can go. And then uh, it's taking measurements, uh, measurements of the, the part you're actually mounting, measurements on the car, stuff like that. And then I'll go to, either I'll, I'll sketch something up first and then on a piece of paper, and then I'll go to CAD and design it in SolidWorks. And then I'll print a prototype, and then I'll do a fit check. Let me see if I can find a good location for this thing. Okay, so I've been looking around where I'm going to put this, and uh, I've, I tried underneath the car. Like I like to mount everything as low as possible for center of gravity. It's so huge for handling, but uh, this isn't. There was no good spot on the bottom, and um, uh, this is a maintenance item, right? So it's a filter, so it's going to be have to be changed or cleaned. Uh, Often, so I decided to utilize two of the bolts from the fuel cell. Um, I'm just going to put longer ones in and make a mount that holds it kind of right, right here. This will eventually be all covered up by a, like a tin uh, cover, but so I'm just going to try to put it right there. So uh, next step is I'm going to uh, draw up what I think and then make some measurements and um, yeah, start catting it up. Okay, so here's my uh, most of my measuring devices. Um, these like little steel, stainless steel rulers. I uh, actually got this from Tokyo Hands in Japan. It's kind of a Toyota uh, accessory engineer tradition. When you go to Japan for the first time, you go and buy these stainless steel rulers. Uh, but you can buy them off Amazon too. Uh, I have a 150 mil guy, and then a 300 mil guy, and then I also have my digital calipers and my digital micrometer. So when I need to measure thickness precisely, I use that guy. So here's my little sketch up. Diameter of the fuel filter is 59.8. Uh, the width of the, the body is 106 millimeters. And then I measured the bolt spread on the, the vehicle. And it's 120 millimeters. And that's kind of my shit ball sketch uh, of what I'm uh, making CAD. Oh, and because I like fancy pencils, this is a fancy Japanese uh, mechanical pencil that's 1.3 lead with 2b lead softness uh, I like the 1.3 because you never break the lead because it's so thick so when you're out in the garage and you're writing on crappy surfaces it works like a champ so anyway there's my tools of the trade okay so here's my crummy scratch turned into a CAD model I'm using SolidWorks 2019 uh, but there are several free CAD programs too if you uh, don't have SOLIDWORKS. But uh, so here's my part. Um, this is kind of what I was originally envisioning, but uh, just thinking about printing this thing. Um, if I print it kind of flat on the surface, there's gonna have to be support material to support, support these hoops. Um, and when you do stuff like that, usually the circle ends up being more oval shaped, which wouldn't be good for our part. So, I decided to do it in two pieces, which is uh, yeah, this one. So basically I just cut <clears throat> that uh, original model into a left and a right hand side and I'm just going to use that so I can print it kind of flat and uh, yeah, just be like that. And it'll, yeah, much easier to print and quicker too. So let's go into the slicing software. Okay, so this is uh, Cura. This is a open source free slicing software for 3D printers, um, so anyone can use this. Um, but, uh, so this is kind of the original design that I was talking about. So here's all that support material in this kind of uh, light blue color. 
Um, and then notice it takes 16 hours and nine, 19 minutes, so it's a pretty long print. And I just know that these uh, circles wouldn't be perfect once uh, the, the print was done, so I decided to do it in a in that two-piece design, which I'll show you next. Okay, so here's the two-piece design, just one side of it. Um, first thing, notice that it's, it only takes four hours and eight minutes, so uh, I'll obviously have to print two of them, so it'll be eight hours and uh, whatever, 16 minutes, but um, notice that I can just print it on the, on the flat side there, and this circle will come out perfect, um, and it basically has very little support material, just a little bit in the the M6 hole and then right there as well. Um, so yeah, this is much quicker and uh, should warrant a better part. Okay, so the first piece is done. I broke the support material material off. Um, let's check, check it out, see if it fits. Yeah, fits in there nicely. Uh, then the bolt will kind of grab it and you know, it won't go anywhere. Um, so yeah, now I just gotta print the other one and uh, mount it to the core. Okay, so here's the, the assembly here with both pieces on there. I'm gonna bolt her down into the Thing here with uh, again this material is not the best PLA uh, doesn't handle high temperatures and um, it uh, does creep quite a bit so use Loctite or nylock nuts for your bolts because um, yeah they, they will soften the joints will soften over over time with the creep of the plastic uh, I'll make these again uh, with some better material possibly ABS or I'm feeling real crazy glass filled nylon. Um, this, will, this will work for now to get her on the dyno, you know. There's that one. Pull a little, little, little lock tie on there. Give the Jesse slint case here there. Oh shit. Uh, give the Jesse Slinsky test. She's pretty solid. I don't think that's going anywhere. This thing only weighs uh, less than a pound and then add some fuel at the most two pounds. So even at 2G cornering, it's only going to be a four pound load. So that's more than enough to keep her in place. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, Instagram it. Stay safe.